Hey, this is Bill Conrad, and today on The River Part 2, I drove up with my good friend Ron up Highway 80 up to the west side. We went to Cab Cabela's, and then in Cabela's we came back down. We stopped off at Mayberry Park. Then we continued to drive back to my house. He dropped me off at Mayberry. And I took my little truck and went down to Idlewild and then went into Reno proper. So we'll see what the day looks like. And uh, it cooled down. The storm went a little bit further south, and it, and it started snowing a little bit. So uh, we didn't get the huge rain. But the night on the 10th, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get up early tomorrow because it's raining hard. I know it's snowing about 500 feet above me. It's snowing about 5,000 feet. I'm around 4,600 feet. And uh, Reno itself is about 4,400 feet. So I think we're going to have a lot of rain in the morning, even with the snow. And Highway 80 has been closed a good bit of the time, and the trucks are backed up. So without further ado, let's get right into this episode. This is kind of cool. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, getting close to downtown Reno in Idlewall Park. And you see there's a gate right here. Looking at this gate. And it's closed right now. Of course, here's the Truckee. It got quite a bit higher last night. You can sort of see where it got right there. Washed. But over here, looks like the gate was open for a while because there's a bunch of mud and debris coming out from it. As you see, now would be the time to get in there, clean and dig all that out. They do have the gate closed now. But you can see where it backwashed, and this area would be flooded if it wasn't for this dike that's along here. And as you can see, the new Virginia Bridge is looking really good. And eventually we'll get them all replaced. I want to thank you for tuning in today. And I, you can go to Karen Conrad forward slash flood. And we're putting together a little piece on her blog about all the different floods in Reno. So you get to know the area. There's a lot of safe places. Most places don't flood in Reno and it's a great place to live. So if you're thinking about buying or selling or coming to town, look up Karen Conrad at karenconrad.com. She's my wife, she's my real estate broker. And now until tomorrow, I appreciate you tuning in today and uh, enjoy and uh, hopefully it won't be too bad tomorrow. It's supposed to snow tonight too, so we'll have to see. Take care, bye. Crap. Wow. I've, you may you die right there. If you oh my that God. white water right there. People, yeah. people died there three years ago, and oh, just in the summertime. Intense.